I am creating this video tutorial for digital planners or digital war binders um, using Keynote for Apple and Mac products. I posted a couple of pictures of my digital war binder in the war binder group on Facebook and some of you asked if I would create a tutorial for YouTube detailing the process that I used. And so I'm going to do that by using Keynote, as I said before. And I'm just going to click New Document. And then um, just open a plain um, presentation. Now I want to click and drag to delete everything so that I start with a fresh slate. Now there are other videos on YouTube that show you how to use Keynote to make a digital planner. However, they're very generic in my opinion and they don't show you how to make things custom or make them pretty like you'd see on like Facebook or Instagram, those pictures. And so um, I'm hoping to kind of give you a like a start and show you how to do these things. So the first thing I want to do is edit my background which is considered like my desk and so I'm going to first find a background and so I'm going to search maybe marble pattern or marble background and then find my pattern this rose gold one's really pretty I already have one say that I want to use. But I just wanted to show you all how to um, get your patterns. And so you would simply just save your image. Um, you can save it to your desktop. I'm going to just leave the name the way it is. Save and it's there. Now I'm going to go back here where it says background. We don't want a color fill. We want an image fill. Then choose, and let me find the one that I want. This one. Okay, and so if you'll look, you'll see that the background is tiled, and it doesn't look like an actual desk, so I'm going to go to scale to fill, and it makes it look like a continuous background, so it actually looks like a desktop. Um, the next thing I want to do is insert a shape <clears throat> and I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle because in my opinion it's the most realistic one. Like it looks most like a binder or notebook. And then it's centered. Now if you look closely there's a green circle here. You can change the radius of the corner by just dragging it up and out. And so there we are. Now You can change the color if you want by choosing various colors. However, I want a textured background. And so I'm going to choose like a leather background. And the reason I'm going to Google and just searching for pictures is because I don't plan to profit off of this or make money off of it. Um, so I'm just looking for like patterns and backgrounds on like on the internet on Google if you want to profit or sell these you'll have to go through the proper channels to purchase backgrounds that are meant for commercial use again I already have the background I want to use but um, I believe it's this one that I chose and then you would just go through the same process of saving it and so I'm gonna click on my rectangle change it to <clears throat> excuse me image fill then choose my image and I want a brown leather here it is okay there it is and so I have my leather background I want to insert another stitch I mean another shape which is going to be like stitches, like threaded stitches that'll make the binder look like it was actually sewn. 
we're going to go to color fill and make it no fill because we don't want a fill. We're going to go to border and make a line border. Now that solid line doesn't look like stitching. So we're going to change it to this one and I'm going to make it a little smaller, like the stitch is smaller so that it actually looks like um, it was sewn. I want to change the radius of it as well. Okay, and then change the color. Um, I'm going to choose this pinkish color. I feel like it'll coordinate well. Okay, so there you have it, um, a stitched background. The next thing you want to do is insert your shape for your pages. Okay. And I'm going to choose white for now, but when I'm going to drag in my binder rings, you'll see why I have to change the color then. And then I'm going to change the border to a line a solid line, and then maybe like a gray border. And so you can see a little bit of a difference. And so I want to create a stacked page look. And I'm going to do that by copying and then pasting a second rectangle, line it up, and then drag one corner or one side in drag the other side in. I'm going to copy again, paste again, line it up, drag in, and drag in. And so you look at it, it looks like stacked pages on the side. Next thing I want to do is drag in my spirals. I created these spirals using um, circles and lines. So you see those circles and lines? They're not the most realistic looking ones that you can get, but they're free. I created them. Um, you can purchase your own from Etsy or um, hold on. Let me drag that in again so that it wasn't clicked. I didn't want to delete a page. So I had this click so it deleted the page, but everything's back to normal now. And so like I was saying, you can purchase your spirals or binder rings from Etsy or any other digital marketplace. Or you can use these. I'll put these in the files for the Digital War Binder group. And so I'm going to go to Arrange with my spirals clicked, I'm going to click Constrain Properties because that's going to let me um, edit this the way I want to without it having to be like proportionate or pro proportional. Okay, so if you look at, there's a background on my um, spirals because I didn't save it as a PNG and so in order to fix it so that it doesn't look super fake I'm going to change the color of my pages so click each page go to style color fill use the eyedropper and click the background of the spirals and it changed the color so now it looks like a seamless let's see it's a seamless um, picture our page. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the second shape, color fill, and now for the third page, color fill, click. Okay, and so here you are. We're done with the first part. You can use it just like this if you want to without tabs, um, just by uploading it into the GoodNotes app. But we are going to add tabs in the next video. 
At the bottom in the comment section, I want you to comment what your favorite part about digital planning and digital prayer journaling in your war binder. What do you like most about this option in comparison to just the traditional paper and pencil route? Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.